Alright, okay, it's working. Um, eh, this is just scrolling around. I'm just gonna play a game that I'm not, that I'm reasonable at, but not too good. Um, just another mic test, see if it's working er okay and all that. So, yeah, this is Turmeric Roll. It's a Neopets game. And, yeah, I'm just gonna screw around and play that for a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm also trying to work on my commentary skills. Oh shit, I'm bad at this. Okay, this isn't doing going as well as I yeah, had hoped. Um, shit, I don't have anything to say. God damn, like I'll talk to myself when I'm alone, but as soon as like as soon as a web you put a webcam in front of me, it's just like you can't see my expression. Uh. It's just like, nope, just got nothing to say here, no opinions, no personality, nothing. Screw that. Uh, I guess I could talk about the whole dog collar thing. Well, something that um, I was talking with a friend a while ago about was um, the concept that society seems to have that... Uh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, there's a bit of sticky in my eye. Uh, I'm so sad that my mask has been broken recently. Ah, oh, shit. Um, is this concept that society seems to have, that a lot of people seem to have, that, oh, you're wearing a collar, it's totally cool for me to come up and touch it, or you're just alternatively, you know, you look different, if you look strange, then it's okay for me to come up, question you, touch you, whatever. And that's just really wrong, because it's like, ew, no, don't touch me, please. And then they get kind of pissy if you do. Like, if you get pissy about them being, about them invading your privacy, then they're like, Ew, well, what's your problem? You're dressed like that to, um, get attention, aren't you? And it's like, no, no, you're wrong. You're wrong and you're stupid and you don't know what you're talking about, so please stop. Ah, shit. Like, um, a lot of people wear these things just, not for attention at all, but, like, in fact, a lot of these people who do it actually don't want any attention. A lot more people who don't do it do it because don't do it because they don't want because they don't want that attention. But um, you know, but to be honest, most of the people who do it don't want the attention or any attention or very little attention and only specific types of attention. Um, and they wear it because it makes them feel more complete, and that's why I actually wear my collar and. I wear this mask when I'm not feeling confident because it makes me feel more confident and that's why I wear it. So like, I don't do it for attention, um, I certainly don't do it so people can come up and touch it or try to pull it off or whatever, because you know, that's just nasty and it's like, ew, no, don't touch me please, no. So yeah, it, like, apparently some people think that because, it, because many colors are involved in the BDSM community, Many people wear collars, like, in, are involved in the BDSM community. Some people assume that it's okay to just come up and grab it, because, oh, you know, they do that with people all the time, so, you know, it must be okay, right? Which is something that people don't seem to understand, is that you need consent. Like, sometimes it doesn't need to be specifically a spoken consent, but if there's some, but there needs to be some kind of prior agreement. Like, my friend Shay, she's allowed to grab my collar, she's allowed to touch my collar, because of our friendship and our or, and our mutual trust that she is and you know and a prior agreement that she can touch my collar if you're a stranger on the street and you see someone wearing a collar you don't go up and grab it you you just don't it's the same with anyone like if you if you see you know a person with a suit da walking down the street you go up and grab their tie no you don't it, it, this is common courtesy stuff so, I don't see why people th feel the need to just throw all that out the window as soon as someone's dressed strangely. It's like, what is this bullshit? Can you please not? Like, on one hand, I can understand if you see something strange, you might want to look investigate it further. But just show a little courtesy. Like, you know, ask people first. Like, hey, what's up with this collar? And if they, and if they don't want to talk about it, that's their business. Don't, don't push it. Don't. And certainly don't get butt hurt because they suddenly don't want to talk to you. A random stranger who has come up and been like, Oh, what are you doing? What are you wearing? What's this? 
try to be respectful. Like, consider if you were, like, imagine yourself, imagine how you were wearing your favorite t-shirt, and someone came up and questioned you about it. You'd want them to be respectful, wouldn't you? Like, you'd want, you wouldn't want them to come up and just be like, ooh, what's this, what's this shirt? I like the design. <laughs> like, that's not a thing you ever want happening to you. Unless you do, because in which case, yeah, each their own. But it's like, yeah, I don't know, it just gets kind of pissy about people who just feel the need to just come up and touch other people, like, without their permission. If it's permission, all, by all means, you know, go touch people all you damn want. As long as you have permission. It's, it's like the basics of humanity. It's like the very basics of manners. Like, you know, you don't have to be some kind of fancy-ass butler to know this shit. You know, it's, it's, it's like the common sense of the common building blocks of society is someone don't want to be touched, or if you don't know them, don't fucking touch them. You know? Like, obviously there are some cultural places where touching is okay because reasons. You know, there are different cultures. Their own reasons. But, you know, if you're in a place where it's not common for you to touch, you know, where it's not socially accepted to touch someone, that doesn't go out the window just because someone's dressed strangely. This goes for skimpy outfits, this goes for alternative outfits. Hell, this goes for normal outfits. No matter what someone is wearing, it doesn't... Clothing doesn't give consent. It's as simple as that. Doesn't matter if they're in cosplay. It doesn't matter, you know, if they're wearing a mask, if they're looking strange. Even if you think they're seeking attention, don't touch them. Ask first. That's the best kind of attention you can give them. Because, you know, it's polite and consensual. And they can't sue you for it. You know, it's like, wh why do you think this goes out the window just because someone's wearing, looking strange? I don't know, it's just something that annoys me. It's like, Thankfully, very few people have tried to grab my collar, possibly because they're all too short to actually reach it. I'm very, I'm quite tall in my town. Like, there are some people who are taller than me, but I'm fairly tall, so it's like, eh, heh, heh. You can't fucking touch me, bitches. Yes, I actually got it that time. Oh, oh sh. And then I die. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven minutes. But yeah. Well, I'm go I guess once I get find something that I'm interested in talking about and, I know and I've already talked about, I can actually talk about it for a bit. Um, but I don't do exact much commentary. Though in this case, in, in this particular game, there isn't exactly a lot of commentary to do. You know, it's just, I've played this a thousand times, except, you know, I could probably go, Oh, a heart-shaped berry, yay! Or whatever else, or furry berry, yay! And, but, you know, it's not, you guys can see the screen. It's not something that requires a great deal of commentary. There's no speech or anything that requires commentary. It's just playing a game. It's a background game, basically. Something that you play just like, you know, it's not usually something you'd even record playing, but I'm just messing around and trying to do stuff. I might even... If, if this turns out good, I might still upload it somewhere. But I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing that happens. Um, but yeah. But, ah, shit. I missed that one. That would have been a really good guy to get. Oh, well. Shit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try this one. I probably won't last more than, like, a minute. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. I'm actually disconnected from the internet at the moment, so, you know, I'm, like, oh, sweet, you moved it before? Okay. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay. Shoot these fuckers. I usually try to use, um, either the red one. I found the red one to be best. Um, the fireball. Sorry if I don't know the names of these. But, like, when you use the fireball, then, um, once it gets to the highest level, then it'll actually clear the park in directly in front of you. Oh, shit. Like, with some of them, I don't like, I like to, <laughs> I don't exactly have the best technique with this. It's just basically hold the button down, hope you hit everything, and try not to die too quickly. Ah, oh, shit. Which I'm not doing a great job of, apparently. It's just like, no, fuck you this time. Ah, fuck, fuck you and your bad skills at this game. Uh, some days I can get a really good score, but just other days it's just blah, no. Fuck you, fuck you in this, fuck you, fuck this game, and fuck everything you stand for. Fuck you and your bat button mashing thing. Like, I'm just not particularly good at um, most games. 
Hopefully, uh, hopefully my daring personality and, pr and gorgeous looks that you can actually see through this mask, you know, will shine through and I will still get people to watch my videos. So, you know, fun times of people watching videos and maybe get involved in a thing and get monies. So that's all I, yeah, because I'm pretty much after money and that's it. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, money. Because you can use money to, to procure um, good goods and services. But, you know, if I get money, then I can get it, get my own apartment. I, speaking of which, tomorrow I'm actually moving in with my sister, which is going to be an interesting um, situation, because, you know, I'm just going to... like I've never actually left home before. Um, moving in with my sister because I haven't got a job, and on top of which I'm going to be moving into a whole new town, so I won't have a job. You know, I, do, I won't have any source of income, so I'm going to stay... And I don't have a whole lot of income at the moment. So my big hope here is that I will... Ah, oh, shit! My big hope here is that I will be able to... Fuck. <laughs> I'll, is that I'll be able to move in with my sister, and from there, and, like, use that as a base of operations. Then I go off, and I get my job, and once I've got my job, then I'm hoping that I'll be able to... Um, move out, get my own apartment, because as much as I love my sis, um, I do actually really want to have my own life and own, you know, own place sort of deal. A little bit of independence and fun. Also so that I can finally eat all those unhealthy foods. Like, my sister does care about me and she'll prevent me from procuring and, oh, she might not even do that, but, you know, I can eat all, all the bad foods. No one can stop me. And that is, and really, what's the point of being an adult if you can't eat whatever the hell you want and no one can stop you? Like, Seriously, what's the point even? Why, otherwise, why would you choose not to be a child? Like, if you're a child, then you get shit paid for you. Sometimes you don't even, like, depending on how young you are, you, some, you might not even have to wipe your own ass, and that's a pretty excellent thing. Like, <laughs> fuck you, I don't have to do anything. I just have to baby. But, um, like, the older you get, the more you appreciate that. Like, back when you were a kid, it's like, no, let me grow up, and then as soon as you, as soon as you grow up, you're like, no, fuck that shit, fuck being an adult. Probably, you know, go back to the days where I don't have to worry about my own nutrition, and I can just eat whatever the hell I want and not feel fat. But, you know, that it's every, like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just really funny to me that everyone thinks that at some point in their life holds all the answers. Like, they think, oh, when, when you're a kid, you think, Oh, once I'm adult, I'll, un I'll understand everything and all will be good and holy. But that's not true. Like, when you, no matter how old you get, the life won't hold the answers. After a certain amount of time, you're going to get arthritis and everything will be sucky. After a certain amount of time, you'll start shitting yourself again. That's really the great equalizer, isn't it? No matter what you do, at some point in your life, you're going to shit yourself. It it's a good equalizer. Like, it's humiliating. No one wants to admit it. But it's still gonna happen, kind of like with death. Death and shitting yourself are the two great, great equalizers. Everyone has shat themselves at some point. Everyone's gonna die at some point. No one wants to admit either of these things. Except ghosts and a certain brand of fetishists. Yeah, whatever, whatever makes you happy, man. If you can appreciate the great equalizers of shitting yourself and death, good for you. Uh, I'm running out of time, so I'm probably gonna stop soon. Like, I've got maybe two minutes. Ah, well, might as well stop the recording there. I might. That was actually a pretty good conversation, so I might actually do something with that. Anyways, bye bye.